We're exploring for the biggest fish in the ocean and all the other weird and wonderful sea creatures in between. Come on, mate. I got me. <laughs> Over the next couple of days, Jacko, Strider, and myself, we're camping and exploring along this beautiful remote coastline. We are literally stranding ourselves on the beach throughout the night. As the tide goes lower and lower, it reveal more tide pools where all the weird, wonderful, and amazing creatures hide. Look at that. Look how beautiful he is. The prettiest fish I've ever had in my hand. For those of you who don't know what the biggest fish in the world is, this could be a surprise. It's a whale shark. And it can grow as big as a bus. Come on, Freddy. She's gonna go! Oh. Oh. Look at that fish! <laughs> the dolphin just brought a fish up to our jet skis. Hey, good catch, mate! Just at the back here, there's a fringing reef and there's breakers on it. But what happens beneath the breakers are a whole heap of different sea creatures. Yeah. It is so fishy down there, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna keep punching out a bit more deeper, do a few deeper drops. That's where the whale shark is gonna be. It breathes through its gills and that's what makes it a fish. We'll explain more, we'll show you more, but hang around because honestly guys, it is one of the most breathtaking experiences there is and I'm bringing you guys in the drink with us. Let's go! I am so excited about tonight. When that tide drains out to its lowest, and the moon is its fullest. All the weird and wonderful sea creatures come out to hunt, mate, and do all that good stuff. What the whale sharks do, there's not much known about them. They come up off that bottom looking for plankton and they filter feed on top. So you can find them in three meters, 15 meters, and right out the back in the blue. But I'm gonna hop in here, see if I can find one. Go!
Oh, it's so beautiful there. Super clear. No whale shark tone, but I got a good feeling about it. It must be the top of the tide and it's about to rush out. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go lock ourselves in, strand ourselves on a beach, a very remote beach, and wait for that low tide. But we gotta go do it now. Let's go find a beach. Ah. During the night, obviously the tide is going to return back high. So we got the skis just out of the water. We won't have to put the anchors out. We won't have to worry about them. We won't have to do anything. They'll just sit there until the next morning and we can put them back in and continue on our adventure. Are you excited about going on the tide pools? I'll see you guys out there. Although a relatively small one, this is a member of the giant clams. They can grow up to four foot, which is like that bloody big. They live off algae and all that kind of stuff that just drifts over them and oh, you don't want to spook it too much. They're found worldwide and they do come in an all different variety of colours. This guy's like a beautiful bluey, greeny purple. But we'll let him do his thing, get a little bit of sun. See you later, mate. <laughs> this fella right here is the white spotted hermit crab. This is a relatively small one. They grow up to 30 centimeters in length, which is absolutely huge. And same as all hermit crabs, they live in all different shells and come in all different shapes and sizes. Oh, it is. It's a huge trumpet shell. Not much is known about the ecology of the giant Australian trumpet shell. They're a bloody mystery. What's more amazing than the shell is the gastropod that lives in there, the heaviest one in the world. I'm not sure if anyone's home will have a quick look. Oh yeah, big slug in there. That must be like bloody 15 kilo. I put him straight back. Whoa, that is so heavy, like I'm like struggling. But you're an absolutely beautiful, beautiful shell, mate. Enjoy your life. I'll catch you later. Woo!
live in here. Who knows, he might actually be hunting, could be the smartest thing in the world. This pool is gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure the tide's on its way back in in another hour, and they can live out of the water for a fairly long time, so. Otherwise, he's actually gonna bite me. Goodbye, mate. I tried. Have a good one. Okay. Found a squid in a tide pond, a little baby one. Look at him, changing colors. Must be hunting. Oh, hey buddy. Look at that, unbelievable. He's just chilling in the palm of my hand. Gotten comfortable with me now. Oh, my night has already been made. Lovely to meet you, my little calamari friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a garfish. Everything would be trying to eat that fella tonight. <laughs> Good luck, man. Look at this guy. This is a flathead. He's camouflaged waiting for a prawn or a fish or anything just to go in front of his little mouth there. And out of ambush, he'll get him. Tail's there. Head's up there. This is the size of him. They are venomous. They have a few venomous little barbs there. Whoop! <laughs> See those patterns on the back? They're to the mimic eyes, so she gets confused where its head is. You think that's its head? Nope. Its head's up here. <laughs> I can see you, mate. Blue Spot Lagoon Ray. He was actually hunting there. I think he still is. See how he's just smashing the dirt up there looking for a mollusk or a prawn or any vertebrate, anything. They are nocturnal. They hunt throughout the night. And they really show their blue colour during the night, don't they? Look at that. There's the barb down the back. Yeah. Whoop! He's off into the night. Another squid. This one is actually smaller. It's in a bigger tire pond and it's hunting. See, it's got all its tentacles curled up. They're like springs ready to boom, shoot out and grab when he's, oh, no way. I just got, <laughs> it's a paid actor. Thank you, young squid. Enjoy that meal. You've earned it. I can't believe that. I was just talking about you doing that. Thank you. Oh, he did it again! Size comparison, tiny. Sometimes these guys are super friendly. Yes, yes. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful he is. You are magnificent. <sighs> and a shabby shark there. Hello, fella. You're, you're still beautiful. This is the first time I've ever seen a family of cowfish. We got a baby, a mama, and a daddy. All three of them. I'll try and get them all in shot. Look at them. This one is officially the prettiest fish I've ever had in my hand. <sighs> what a beautiful fish. Hello, sweetie. Whoop. Whoop, she's found some shelter. I hope Strata doesn't fart tonight. Her bum's right there. <laughs> Good night. The best start to the morning ever. A stonefish and I almost stepped on it. I was just gonna come down and say it's the first light. A beautiful morning, the tide's pushing in. I look down at my feet and there's a stonefish. Literally, that's his mouth there. Oh, he's putting his spines up now, you see that? And that's his tail down the back here. I won't disturb him too much. Well, that right there is a stonefish. We're gonna stay away from them, all right, Strider? It's bad. 
No. Good girl. You know, but don't you? You, you know because you're the best. We are not going to rest until we find the biggest fish in the world, the whale shark. And as always, I'm bringing you guys with us. Let's get it. We've got to get the skis back in the water. If you want a floating buoy or anything like that, you want to stuff it as far as you can get underneath there. Let's go on it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Stretty. We've been looking for hours and hours and finally just in front of Jackson, he's found a whale shark. So Jackson's going to keep an eye on it while I finally suit up and I do not want to blow this opportunity because we have been really searching for so many long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up current of it, hop in and hopefully drift straight onto it. Are you ready Strider? We're the big shark. Such an amazing experience, try to let me in. Oh, that is what we've been searching for. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest fish in the world, the whale shark. No matter how many times I do that, it blows my mind every single time. Hopefully for you guys watching at home that might never get the opportunity to do that, you've just experienced something amazing. That's a wrap, baby. Yee-hoo!